Hello everyone, welcome to Inside Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a look at one of these Quichua or however you pronounce that thing branded hand cranked LED light which is manufactured by this company over here and are being sold by the most popular retail chain all across the world, Decathlon. So this particular model has given to me by one of my friend who told me that this thing is not working the battery is gone bad and also this switch is not working and to get an idea about this particular model as you can see it is in a rough shape it is actually in a rough shape and all the uh, labeling on this thing is completely gone so I cannot I am not able to find the exact model number of this particular torch but when I went through the listing of all the available torches on both this company's website and on the Decathlon website, it appears that this is an old model. And what makes it old is because the latest mo models that are available online are only single mode LED lights. I mean if you take a look at this one, you can see three different modes, the full brightness and the half brightness and the strobing mode and i'm not able to find any listing or any website that still sells these multi-mode led lights because all of them were selling the latest model which is just a single mode which is the full bright always led light so the way this thing works is really simple these are called eight lumens dynamo series because it has a much powerful led and there are different models of this particular uh, torch but in fact this one has a high power LED in it that is 8 lumens of output you can do 8 lumens of output that is the reason why this thing is called dynamo 8 lumens and the way it works is really simple you just need to crank this and you can see this thing lights up if I show it to you so you can see it lights up and it uses a single die you can see, see that over there so let's take this into complete bits and see what's inside these quench quench or whatever that thing is branded torches so that thing comes off really easily and it uses the star screwdriver let's do it and this thing is actually around 700 the latest version of this exact one the latest versions are available online for around 700 to 800 rupees so this is not that cheap for what it is it is actually somewhat expensive for what it does in fact there are a lot of Chinese knockoffs that looks exactly like this one but with different names that are available for like say two to three dollars but this thing is really good and I'm thinking why the battery might have gone wrong because of the switch because at the moment I cannot press it so the battery is always connected to the LED and that way it can easily be discharged and also if you notice you can see the light actually stays for a while after cranking this thing let me do it again the light actually is staying for a while I'm thinking that it might contain a capacitor I don't know let's just see why is it not coming out okay that okay we can we are now inside it okay okay so that is what's inside the doors and I don't see any capacitors at all Ooh, it's all wet Let's see that's all, that's all gunked up it's all wet and look at the circuit board it's all completely wet I mean look at that I mean wait a moment I'm just going to clean this and I will be back in a moment so guys I'm back I have completely cleaned the interior of it as you can see the corrosion was has really taken away some of the materials you can see that there are still some materials over there corrosion is eating away the metal the battery was definitely causing some issues and look at the circuit board it was absolutely covered in gunk and this is a LED and 
we focus on it says TL100 says 3W over there is it 3 watts I don't know and the battery is suppose these are the watch battery type cells with three of them connected in parallel uh, to give around 80 milliamps these are rechargeable nickel metal hydride and IMH batteries and this is a circuit board and I'm actually surprised to see the it uses the, uh, the a lot of I mean uh, the what this thing this is diodes yeah so I tried to see a lot of diodes over here I'm thinking this there are three wires coming from here so I'm guessing that this is three phase AC that is coming in and it is using these six diodes to actually rectify it and this switch is completely gone and you can see the gunk is still there is wetting my hands so it uses very little components the LED is connected straight to the terminals so this chip must be controlling the three different modes that are available here this is a reflector that they are using in front of the LED and pretty much the circuit board has nothing else since it is using a corp switch we cannot get what exactly that thing is and yes I was right see all the three terminals are going to this diode and the circuit board is completely gone I mean the the material is scraping away like that see that so it's completely gone the battery has done its job it went clean through the circuit board now let's take a look at this side I mean there is nothing much more interesting to see over here just a chip that controls the entire thing no inductors there is a resistor over here I don't know what it does but anyways let's take a look at the gear assembly over here and this is the actual part that is rotating if I crank it like that you can see that one rotates and at the same time the LED lights up so let's see what's underneath this one there is nothing more nothing there of interest I mean it's just let me adjust the camera first it's just the motor there will be nothing else we focus on it so for a for a torch that is branded and costing around cost around 800 rupees this thing is not doing its job that is really simple it uses a couple of gears and in fact a single metallic gear and a lot of the plastic ones oh those are well greased those are really greased oily the actual material quality see this thing feels like this has some, some weight to it it's not it does not feel like cheap you know this alone is really has some weight to it I mean this thing is a quality product except the fact that they're using this leaky nickel metal hydride cell which is a common issue for these kind of cells and yeah pretty much that is so what it does is the, the dynamo rotates when you crank this thing and the it generates a three phase AC which gets rectified using this diodes and it is then used to charge the battery and whenever you press the switch the battery just discharges straight through this LED and I'm seeing a resistor that is connected to the LED terminal also so I'm thinking it goes through the resistor also so yeah that's that's it that's it what's inside a 700 rupees worth decathlon sold uh, torch anyways thanks for watching see you in another video